If you have tuned in to watch my worthless pupil, uh, Remo Williams, switch please to another channel. Otherwise, a warning. You uh, will be forced to watch the humiliation of a grown man. Observe Remo closely. See how he climbs a wall like drunken gorilla. Pathetic. Yet, producers insist on naming this show after him. In reality, show is about me. I am Chun, master of Sinanju. Twelve months ago, I was brought to this country by Harold W. Smith, a servant of your president, to turn Remo's mind and body into a perfect weapon to be used against forces of evil facing America. It's like putting a banana up against a steamroller. Okay, enough with the banana jokes. The name of this show is Remo Williams, not Chun, master of Sinanji. However, I'd never say this to his face. Chun is really incredible. And over this last year, well, he's taught me some pretty amazing things. Your left knee was bent. Chin, I just jumped off a four-story building. You complain about my knee. I instruct you complain. Your complaining is your best exercise. At that, you excel. Come on. I have jumped off at least 50 buildings in the last year. Couldn't you say something like, hey, Remo, you've reduced your body weight to less than a feather, just like I taught you, and I'm very happy? Perhaps I would be happy if you could do it 10 more times correctly. What if I don't want to? 15. What if I refuse? 20. 10 is a good round number. You've been packing for days. I'm starting to wonder if you really want to leave. Your disappointment at my leaving is touching. Disappointed? Did I say I was disappointed? I have trained you for your first assignment. I must now return to Sinanju and fulfill prophecy. What exactly is this prophecy you keep talking about? It's none of your concern. Well, no offense, but life around here is going to be a whole lot simpler when it's your time. Mmm, yummy. I can't believe I survived the whole year without real food. Or any sex. By the way, uh, make sure that you take this eel stuff with you when you go. Is my contribution. So you may continue to avoid evil hamburger. Oh, swell. Thanks. So this is it, huh? You're really leaving. You are most perceptive. I guess it hasn't been all bad. I mean, you taught me some pretty amazing things. What you have learned? Child's play. Well, I'm going to put it to good use. Running errand for Emperor Smith. How many times do I have to tell you he's not an emperor? You know, Chen, a real parting gesture would be teaching me lesson 36. Lesson 36 in hand of beginner could be dangerous. Ah, oh, come on. How can the 47 steps to bring a woman to ecstasy be dangerous? You would find a way. Oh, come on, Chen. Now, I know you start off with tapping the wrist. Now, what's the next step? Carry trunk to street. 
You want to carry it down? Call Beacons. People must always show respect for Master. Even Dog know this. Obviously, you do not. The carriage went to street. Please. Please. That's all you had to say was please. I will recite an um poem. Oh, Chun, can't we just say goodbye like the regular people? Listen to the cold salmon. The cricket, thinking black, sings of snow. The season is... Winter, yeah, yeah, I got that. Look, Chun, instead of the poem, how about a quick run-through of Lesson 36? What do you say? Lesson 36 is a spiritual path. Not journey to fast food restaurant. No. The mighty Kari Look, Chun, I, I hate long goodbyes. This poem is a real long goodbye. So, goodbye. You must learn to guard against impatience. Look, I've graduated. I'm Sananju now. Watch out for bad rice. Graduated. You are not yet graduated from kindergarten. Despite the success of Remo's first assignment, looks like you'll have to extend your stay here. Our contract is complete. But he is not Sinanjo yet, is he? That is your problem, Everett Smith, and not mine. <laughs> Of course, technically, you fulfilled your contract. But I don't think you want to return to Korea until the job is really finished. You would attempt to stop me. Do you want to say that Master Chun is such a poor teacher? His pupil did not survive. My belongings. Take them back at once. Chun. How much longer do you require to make him truly synergy? Faster than usual, I think. Why, that's excellent. Does that mean... Fifteen years. Fifteen years? If I cut a few corners, maybe fourteen and a half. I'll need it much sooner than that, John. You may do as you wish, Emperor Smith. I will uh, teach my pupil one more lesson, then I shall return to Sinanju. What is that lesson? Remo's overconfidence uh, place him in grave danger. Like a child, he uh, wants to run, but he has only begun to crawl. You might not find it so easy convincing Remo that he is overconfident. Pain and humiliation often work wonders. So this guy tells me he always uses a nine iron out of traps instead of a wedge. It's crazy. That's what they make wedges for, traps. I hope they trim those roughs out there. It was like a jungle last time, remember? We got an hour before we tee off. We'll get the car. I'll be out in a little while. Don't worry about it. I'll be waiting. Manbeck? Yes? Greetings from the Hong Kong Syndicate. Relax. You have a nice day. Hmm? Actually, I enjoy my work. 
and model lingerie. And they're perfect 36. 36. Thir 36 is my favorite number. Oh, that's fabulous. But you know, I've been doing all the talking. What about you? What do you do? Me? Well, I'm sort of a domestic commando. <laughs> You're such a kidder. No, really. I basically keep America safe for democracy. Come on, what do you really do? All right, I'm a CPA. Oh, that's fabulous. I love animals, too. Taffy, give me a wrist. Mm. What are you doing? Uh, you ever heard of Sanaju? Yeah, it's some kind of a perfume, right? Oh, not exactly. It's a sort of a martial art. Oh, you mean like karate or something? Let me put it this way. If karate was a hamburger, Sananju would be a Big Mac. There was never a master of Sinanju named Big Mac. The warmth of my footprint is not even cold. And already you indulge yourself in baser appetite. Juice of fermented grain. That's light beer. Huh. Yuck. Sorry, but uh, I think you have to go. I'd really like to see you again. Okay. Okay. But not while your little Chinese friend is around. Oh. If you ask me, he's got really negative karma. Came all the way back to have a cup of tea. I have returned at Emperor Smith's request to give you further training. Oh, yeah. And who says I need further training? <sighs> so I rest my case. Okay, so there's still a few little things I need to know. So what? We'll start at the beginning. Breathing and balance. Breathing and balance? Touch your feet to earth. Balance is simple. Introduce wheel. It's more interesting. Yeah, maybe to you, not to me. For your information, I was the roller skate champion of Lincoln Elementary. Most impressive. Yeah, I think so. Seeing your obvious lack of skill. An excellent opportunity for you to display your extensive knowledge of breathing and balance. Join the 20 guys here. I'm gonna kill somebody.
said, inside out and backwards. It was not a fair fight. No kid. They were not wearing roller skates. You guys make a fine bunch of wins. <laughs> Would you care for a real game? I already have a match. Uh, would you excuse me, please? I have already heard of your pathetic attempt at the business of assassination. Uh, Vienna, uh, Cologne, uh, Sydney, uh, Bucharest. Pathetic. I always prefer uh, gutter percher balls. Hmm. Gutter percher balls haven't been used for at least 50 years. Now, would you excuse... Too bad. They were good boys. Are you from a village in the West Korea Bay? You have heard of me. I'd be honored to play. Tony, get Master Chun the club. John, are you sure you want to use that club? Excuse me, that, that would be a 200-yard putt. A ball must land somewhere. Why not where it's supposed to? He just made a hole in one. Sure did. Pitiful. Probably made in Taiwan. I heard rumors you were in this country. When I tried to locate you, I couldn't find a trace. Now you come to see me. Why? I want you to injure someone. You certainly don't need me for that, Master Chun. I've got a pale shadow to the master of Sinan Ju. Hmm? True. Uh, Someone else uh, must teach my pupil this one lesson. Regretfully, I am forced to injure him in order to save his life. I don't understand. You're, you're in this country training the Korean? He is not Korean. He is white. Forgive me, Master Chun. But may I suggest another path? Forget about this ungrateful pupil. Teach me instead. I will become your most devoted disciple. I think not. Now, will you perform this simple service for me? Yes, I will. It would be an honor, Master Chen. Hmm. Now, I must show you how to injure my pupil. You must get close. I want only a superficial bullet wound on the left arm. A simple scratch. No more. I could do that from a hundred yards. I don't have to get close. My pupil would sense your aggressive energy. Alerted, <laughs> he would avoid your bullet. Then how? You must calm your aggressive urge. You must feel only friendly intention. <laughs> That's brilliant. That's brilliant, Master Chan. You put your mind at ease, I won't fail you. Tony, you follow him, I'll take a cab to the house. Okay. Find out where he went? You know, I tried to tell him, but uh, he just disappeared. Well, it doesn't matter, Tony. How are we going to find him? We won't have to. Master Sinanju has taught one white man he'll teach another. 
after the first one is dead. Next time you feel compelled to flex your muscles in public, do it less conspicuously. I don't know what you're talking about. Your escapade with that motorcycle gang. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, Smitty, enough small talk. Why'd you want to see me? Your services are required again. Yeah, well, it's always nice to be needed. We have a security problem. It involves a secret biochemical warfare lab. It has to be eliminated before it's completed. Call the FBI. Don't want to compromise our sources. Now, we need a fire. So, call Murray the Torch. Has to be untraceable. Chen doesn't feel that you're ready for another assignment. Yeah, well, Chen's kind of a perfectionist. We don't have the luxury to wait for perfection. You go in Wednesday afternoon. In the afternoon? Why not at night? Oh, they're working under the cover of darkness to make it operational. It seems abandoned during the day. However, we haven't been able to get a fix on their security system, so I'm afraid you're going to have to improvise once you get well, there. Well, if it was easy, you wouldn't have to ask me, right? All right, don't be a wise guy. Just get the job done. Your wish is my command, Emperor Smith. Why did you say it was? I really expressed doubt already in your mind. Doubt makes mind wonder. Wandering mind often finds itself attached to dead body. I don't believe it. Huh. I see she has the same effect on you. <laughs> After lunch, I would like you to take me to see local Barbara Streisand monument. The local what? And later, I will make pilgrimage to a more magnificent one in Brooklyn, a place of birth. But for now, local one will do. Chen, there's no local Barbara Streisand monument, or one in Brooklyn, for that matter. If you do not wish to take me, maybe so. <laughs> no, Chen, really. Really, there's no monument. A voice of such perfection, and she have no monument? No monument. Oh, Barbara. If you were Korean, there would be monument to you in every village. No wonder your pitiful country is in such decline. Well, I don't have time to debate Barbara Streisand or the decline of America. Good. You would lose. Smith gave me an assignment. And I'd like to eat something before I go. Where shall I send your belonging? What are you talking about? When I received the news of your death. Hey, thanks for the confidence. I merely state the obvious. You are not ready. Well, ready or not, I have to go. You know, it would be nice to hear a word or two of encouragement from you once in a while. Very well. Break a leg.
should not have come up here. The view is not worth it. What the hell are you doing up here? Seeing you do not bring disgrace on House of Sinanju. Don't worry about it. I can handle it. Good. I shall observe. Okay. All right. I am waiting. All right. I'm going to jump. I just didn't have to space to land, all right? Okay, how would you get down? They have provided you with a perfect path to safety. All you have to do is walk down. Oh, come on, Chen, that's impossible. Medium and balance. Balance the exact pressure of your body against the force of the water. Too much you fall through. A too little, the water drive you backward. A simple exercise. Oh, really? To tread a rushing water is far easier than classy pump. Uh, this ability you are years from. Fear will always be companion. But you must never let it be your master. You... Will you shut up? You didn't follow me down. For you, important lesson for me. Boring trick. Oh, really? How did you get down? Lesson 62. Floating lily pad. What the hell is a floating lily pad? Something I learned from my mother. Well, I made it down, didn't I? I? Like a clumsy yak. But a yak with style. By the way, John, what the hell's a yak? He's astonishing. <laughs> How one so pitiful is yet so proud. Me? What about you? Oh, I have much to be proud of. But you do not. Uh, thankfully, I shall return to, to Sunanju and hear the last of your boasting. Well, I'll be on the dock waving goodbye. You know, I forgot. I must go to All Night Market uh, for some uh, Changju rice. I trust you can find your way back to Safe House Erone. Yeah, unless you moved it. Oh, don't forget the beer.
Oh, no, my son. No. Oh. Oh, dead. Forgive me, my son. It's impossible. Even in that, you have the essence of Sinanju. How can this be? The prophecy. Oh, that, that is why you learn so well. Oh. said the mission was a success. Clumsy, but uh, successful. How do you get shot? It's part of the training. The idea was to teach him a lesson, Chun, not to kill him. The long night is not for you. I was foolish, my son. You are good pupil. What did you say? Your reflexes are pitiful. Pregnant snail moves faster than you. You will now waste two entire days recovering. I'm sorry, little father. But it hurts like hell. I have brought you food. Fish head broth, jellied oh. eel, bird's nest tea to make you heal properly. Thanks, but I'll stick to the IV. Look, Chun, we've got to find this guy to try to take me out. Oh, I already know. I employ him. You did what? To teach you a lesson. To teach me a lesson? What lesson? Uh, that you cannot run until you learn to walk. What the hell are you talking about? I instruct him to give you a superficial wound. Uh, regretfully, he take advantage and kill you. Killed me? But uh, you should be grateful. Now, prophecy can be fulfilled. And are you talking about this prophecy again? It is foretold. The one who is dead will become the greatest master of Sinanju. Yeah, I too find you unlikely, Master Sinanju, but prophecy is never incorrect. See, and it's now my destiny to remain here and instruct you. Oh, well, well, wait a minute, Shun. If I was dead, then how come I... In Sinanju, life and death are but two sides of the same face. <laughs> now, 
You have been pampered altogether too long. No. Now, we must get rid of all this coolish junk so you can heal. Oh, breathe. Huh? You know what I can't figure out is how that guy got me so cold. I instruct him. Thanks a lot. Now, not only does the guy want me dead, he knows how to do it, too. Yes. Yes. That should be most stimulating to your recovery. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's been days. There's no sign of him yet. Oh, he'll be here. Tony, these are final instructions from my attorneys. Make sure they get them, okay? Well, I still think you should get out of the country for a while. No, Sean would find me. In any case, it will be resolved, okay? What do you want me to do? You just stay out of it. You're only taking orders. He won't hold you responsible. I understand, yeah. You'll take care of yourself, okay? See you later. Yeah. You. What you did was exceptionally foolish. I took a calculated risk. And now that your pupil is dead, I think you'll take me on. Hmm? And if I do not? Then, of course, I'm a dead man. You would risk your life for Sinanju? You, Master Chun, above all people, should know why. Of course. However, there is one, a small flaw in your reasoning. You botched the job, Charlie. But I'm gonna give you another chance. Absolutely amazing what it must be like to be one with such perfection. Would you shake my hand before you kill me? Would you do that? Sure, why not? Formerly dead guy, huh? No, not bad. Come on, little father. I'll buy you a beer. Please, more careful. Did you have to order more trunks? Now I am staying. I need my winter wardrobe. Oh, yeah, of course. Your winter wardrobe. What's all this? While you are still healing, I shall prepare dinner. You're too much. If I'm still healing, I should cook the dinner and you should move the trunks. Vigorous exercise has great healing property. Oh. That's good. That's real good. But when I become master of Sinanju, then who moves the trunks, huh? You have heard all saying, as good as you are, there is always someone better. Sure, so... I am that 
Someone. I'm Ted Koppel. Coming up on Nightline, Ronald Reagan's grand farewell. As the Reagan era draws to a close, will the Reagan legacy come to haunt the next president? This is Charles Gibson. And Joan London. Tomorrow, former U.N. Ambassador Gene Kirkpatrick joins us in New Orleans. Plus the lighter side of the convention from the many sides of Rich Little on Good Morning America. Now, stay tuned as Peter Jennings, David Brinkley, and the people of ABC News bring you live coverage of the Republican National Convention.